We always talk about the sun here, but I want to talk specifically about the sun itself. It actually put out two separate solar flares this week, one on Monday, a smaller flare, and then on Wednesday, it put out an X-class solar flare as well. That's a picture of it right there as it was emitted from the sun. So you've got the one that left on Monday, and then you've got the one that left on Wednesday as well. The Wednesday one was actually bigger, and it's actually catching up to the solar flare emitted by the sun on Monday. Well, both of those are actually directed toward the Earth, and I uh, spoke to NASA and the NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center yesterday. They said both of those solar flares should be arriving around the Earth this evening, and they don't typically see two so solar flares arrive at the same time. So in this specific case, typically you would get Aurora Borealis to the northern states across America right up to around the Great Lakes. But because we've got two solar flares emitted by the sun at the same time arriving at the Earth, at the same time, NASA says there's a possibility that their interaction could possibly expand the Aurora Borealis and bring it down further south, possibly all the way into southern Pennsylvania or maybe even into northern West Virginia. So if you're interested in that and you want to take a look, the best time to do that is going to be this evening, Friday night. Now there's not an exact hour set for that because there's too much variability with the uh, timing of the system, but that's pretty cool. And just take a look up to the sky tonight, especially if you're up in the mountains where you've got clear skies or if you head up to the north into Pennsylvania, that'll be something to keep an eye out for. We take a look at your